Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Developer Minded SEO. Today I am going to discuss with you about some more indexing and crawling issues which are listed under excluded coverage report. The main issues are blocked by page removal tool, blocked by robots.txt and blocked due to unauthorized request. So watch the video until the end because I am going to give you some useful tips and best practices on how to block a page from Google and how to use your robots.txt file efficiently. So before getting into this video, if you are new to my channel, I am Ish, search engine marketer and you want more videos about page speed optimization and more technical SEO, then subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to ask your questions and give your feedback and make the channel more engaging. Let's get into the video. The first one is blocked by page removal tool. We use page removal tool to remove a page from Google index temporarily. Sometimes Google may bring these URL uh, back after 90 days. So there are chances but it might happen like this. So in order to remove a URL permanently from Google index, you have to give a strong signal through using meta robot tag, no index. If you are using Yoast plugin, then you can set meta robots as no index. So this is the way you can send a strong signal to Google not to index a page. So at this point, I want to mention you one thing. If you want to remove or prevent pages appearing on Google search results, then uh, the permanent solution is using meta name robots no index. The use of URL removal tool is a temporary option. But the permanent solution is either you can use meta name robots or you can remove a content and set 410 or 404. So the next issue is blocked by robots.txt. So if you are listed some URLs under robots.txt file, then Google won't crawl the URLs that are listed under robots.txt file. But sometimes they crawl the URL when it is referred by some other pages. So there are chances for Google to crawl the URLs which are listed under robots.txt file disallow. So make sure if you, if you want to block a URL from Google index, the best way is to use meta tag robots to no index. The best way to use the robots.txt file is to allow Google to know about your CSS and JavaScript files. So if you disallow robots to crawl your CSS and JavaScript files, then Google not knows about your uh, website is mobile friendly or not. Or if you load the content using JavaScript, then Google doesn't index your content. So make sure you allow your CSS and JavaScript files. But you can, uh, for security purpose, you can disallow the login login pages like admin WP admin folders. So, and the next thing is you can be able to submit your sitemap through robots.txt file. At that time, keep in mind that you have to use a absolute URL. So the next issue is blocked due to unauthorized request 401. We usually set 401 when the website is in stacking environments, that is the stage before live, going live. So at this stage, we set 401 HTTP request. So if your URL is listed under blocked due to unauthorized request means, actually the URL should not be crawled by robots but google is finding your url through some other referencing source so make sure there is no referring url 
to the URL that you need to block. And that's it from today's video. I hope you learn new things from this video. And if you have any questions, don't forget to leave your comments, give your feedback and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you on another useful video. Until then, this is Ish.